attorneys get paid by the hour. The more accusations they make towards the other side, the more things they ask you to send them, the more papers they file with the courthouse, the more they earn, and the more it costs you. Lawyers handled cases in a fairly similar fashion. They'd set an hourly rate, take a retainer, and then bill hourly against that retainer and then create bills from the hours that they spent later on. I only know, really, of one other firm in my area that does a flat fee. Everybody else is hourly. If a judge is late and you're sitting there for three hours, that client's getting billed for those three hours. I start to feel bad for them. I have to work 25 hours to pay for one hour of an attorney's time. 25 to one. And there are no limits. When attorneys get started, they have no incentive to stop until you run out of money. If your case is taking years and years, then that means some attorneys just putting in a lot of frivolous motions to delay the case. In the 60s, it take a few months, a year. Now cases drag on five, six, seven, eight years. Which is extremely expensive, as you can imagine. You have lawyers who are in it for the money, who are greedy who will milk a case. The attorneys definitely don't want to settle the cases because once they do, their income stream has been cut off. A lot of people go into debt as a result of their divorces. Some attorneys automatically put a lien on your house just to make sure that eventually they get paid. We took out an equity line of credit at my parents' house and that's been maxed out now. Uh, I think it's $250,000. What they do is bleed you until all the money is gone. Since flat fee divorces can be finished quicker and cheaper, why is it that only a handful of lawyers do them? To learn more shocking truths, see Divorce Corp. the movie, coming to theaters this January. What do you think about divorce? Like, subscribe, and comment below. Join the movement and help reform the family courts. Only together can we change the system.